Yo, I'm Tro, and this is my minimalist RuneScape account, Minimal. With minimal possessions, I've set course for maximum ambitions. A max cape without banking. The minimalist max cape. You want a fresh style? You want a fresh style? Let me show you. Not including niche storage, like instance death storage, clue scroll stashes, and the player owned house, Mr. Minimal operates with about 55 storage spaces. 27 of those spaces are usable within my inventory. The other 28 are locked away inside of a looting bag and can only be accessed upon suicide when the looting bag tears and all of the items fall out onto the ground. In my opinion, with such limited storage, this makes Herblore the hardest skill to train. With 11 useful herbs to stockpile and another 14 useful secondaries to stockpile, that makes 25 of my 55 inventory spaces full all the time with just herb lore supplies until 99 herb is achieved. So in an effort to free up those spaces, herb lore is going to be one of my main focuses all the way through my maxing grind. And with 599s currently finished, number 6 is one that's going to really help out my herb lore grind. It's farming. So there's three reasons that I want to pursue 99 farming. The first one is, having a higher farming level is going to increase my total yield by default. The second reason is, the farming cape actually has a perk on it that increases your herb yields by an additional 5%. And the third one is, the farming cape also has a super clutch teleport directly to Jane in the farming guild. So this is going to make doing contracts extra easy. And contracts are a great new way in order to obtain herb seeds. So because I want to chase after farming as fast as possible, I'm not going to do it passively like most people do. Instead, I'm going to do it in the most instantaneous and quick way possible, which is through Tithe Farm. Tithe Farm, if planting 25 seeds at a time without using stamina potions, is about 90 to 95,000 XP per hour. My farming level as of right now is 80, so I've got about 11 million XP left to go before that 99. At 90k XP per hour, that's about 122 hours of Tithe Farm I have ahead of me. Luckily, doing Tithe Farm doesn't require much prep. All I'll be needing is Full Graceful, the Tithe Farm minigame telly, Brickler's Can, which is unlocked at Tithe, player-owned house teleports, and a stamina pool. The only thing that I actually need to prep for is the stamina pool. Stam pool requires 75 con, which I already have, but the complication is it also requires 10 stamina potions. Stamina potions are made at 77 herb lore, which is something that I'm like 17 levels away from. So instead of actually making the 10 stamina's myself, with a little bit of help from my friends, I'm going to be taking on the start of one of RuneScape's greatest challenges, the Theater of Blood. The method is simple. If you contribute enough to the first two boss fights in the Theater of Blood, you'll be rewarded points which can be redeemed at the reward chest at the end of the second boss. So it's time for me to go get some gear on and carry these guys through the Theater of Blood. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Dude, good. Hola. Alright. Are you boys ready to get carried? Oh yeah. <laughs> so ready. <laughs> Fight! Oh, 1% boys! Oh, boys! Yes, <laughs> Come on, big hits. Oh, and we hit an 11! See what I got? Yes. Oh boys! We did it! Holy shit, guys! <laughs> oh well, freaking Pog Champ! You guys have no idea how much that means to me. Thank you so much for doing that. Oh, it's amazing. Of course, man, anytime. We are officially set. Look at all these stamps, dude! Oh, upgrade. Yee, yee, two. Oh boy! Ha! <laughs> freaking OP, bro! Stamina pool was the final step of preparation, meaning there is no reason to postpone starting tithe any further. All right, let's start farming, brother. Yeehaw, okay, Kona. Before I get into the depths of the grind, I'm just gonna quickly do a speed run of what the method looks like. To begin, you use the tithe farm minigame teleport. You run inside and grab the seeds off the table. Make sure you have all your tools with you, which is seed dibber, spade, 
and the watering can. You get the Grickler's fertilizer, but this is useless and you won't actually be using it at all. So in total, it's six patches plus one little planting space up at the top. So to begin, it just looks like this. So the pattern is simple. Seed on patch, watering can on planted seed, and you water during each growth cycle for a total of three times. So when doing 25 seeds, you have to be really fast and can't miss many ticks. Otherwise, you're not going to water your plants in time and they will die. Standard planting a tithe farm is about 20 seeds at a time, so this 25 seed method will really keep you on your toes and it's been a lot of fun for me. As you can tell, I'm not refilling my watering can ever and it's because I have the Grickler's can which holds 1000 charges of water. This is a must have for tithe because you can do a full 100 seeds without ever filling your can. So I'm currently watering the final bit of the plants and the next stage is harvesting. So as you can see, these are the fully grown Lagavano plants, and each one I harvest turns into a Lagavano fruit, which you can see here in my inventory. So once you've grown all the fruit that, you're, that you need, which is typically 100, I'm just going to do 25 for the example, you fill up your watering can at the end, so you're all ready to go for the next one, deposit the fruit into the sack, that will get you your XP, and then teleport home. Use the pool of rejuvenation to get yourself full run energy. Leave the house, and use the Tithe Farm minigame telly to do it again. And that's one lap of using the Tithe Farm 25 seed method. This is a level. A level revel. Here we go, depositing a hundred fruities in the sack. Bring, Ayo! I think that's 89? Yee! sweet farming guide and we've just hit the 95 level mark everybody pretty much i think this is my third time having a thousand points now i basically just have to keep spending them before i finish the grind or i'll leave myself a thousand points so i can have backup seed boxes in case i ever wipe but yeah i'm just stocking up on super compost for now we are up to 644 be able to mine the volcanic ash and and then turn it all on the ultra compost so pog holy flipping pog boys Hey yo! <laughs> it's 98 farming. I think we're like almost three weeks into farming a tithe now. And uh, we got one level left to go. And thank God there's only one left because if there was any longer, I don't even know what I would do. This has been like such a long grind. So um, yeah, one more level. Oh, Uru. Hello. Hello, Feebo. Are you coming? Are you gonna come? Phoebe, Phoebe, wake up. Phoebe, wake up. Phoebe, hey, thank you. Oh, actually a lot of boys turned up. Yo, welcome, welcome. Everyone, thank you for coming. This is it. This is it. Let's go. <laughs> So 120 hours of tithe finished. Time to get the farming cape. Big pog. I hope you enjoyed episode one of Maxing Minimal. Uh, expect a lot more episodes as I really am going to try and max the account within this series. So that was 99 number six. I've got a lot of herb growing to do now. And also Ultimate Iron Man Bingo is probably going to take a big part in the next episode. So stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed, think about maybe dropping a like and a sub. And if you really stan it, you know, maybe turn on that notification button. But I don't know, it's whatever, you know. But yeah, if you want to join the grind, actually, like I stream pretty much everything. I try and stream four or five days a week. And I got to say a big thank you to everyone who supports me there. I'm trying to be full time with this content creator thing. 
to all my Twitch subs and everyone who actually, you know, donates money. Thank you so much for helping me be able to pursue this journey longer. If you did enjoy it and you're still here right now, maybe drop a, a wide boys in the comment section or something like that. I'm excited to make some more videos and I'll see you around.